Hey there guys, Primal Writing here, and today I'm going to show you how I pack for a tour. Uh, now, tomorrow I'm actually going to be leaving and going to Miami, which from where I live is a roughly 200 miles, about three hours. Um, so we're going to be doing this all in one day. And so what we're going to be doing is going down there, I think we're going to be mainly taking highways, and then eventually... Uh, I guess we're going to go to the beach and all sorts of stuff and have a fun time. Uh, so I'm going to show you from helmet to boots and from front headlight to tail light everything I'm going to be bringing and carrying. And this is going to be a little bit different from a normal tour for me because it's actually a themed ride. Now, if you watched my previous video, you saw how I made my Punisher gear. And uh, if you haven't seen that yet, feel free to click through and watch that because it was pretty cool. I, I was, came out, it came out, and I was very happy with it. Um, so first, I'm going to show you all my gear that's going to be uh, I have just lying here on my bed, uh, and it is a lot. So do not be alarmed because I always over prepare, but I have never been in a situation where I ever needed something from someone else or something because I was always ready. <laughs> so let me show you real quick uh, what I have. All right, guys. Now here lies all most of everything I'm going to be bringing and also wearing. So. Oh, where do we start? Um, let's start with the easy stuff, the helmet. Um, so this is a Showy Quest uh, 2X. Um, I bought it just the other day because I knew a new ride was coming up and I had an older helmet that I it was nice. It was, it was just this, but a 3X. Um, I knew I needed something new because <laughs> this one, the old one was pretty bad. Uh, so I actually put this, uh, this uh, little uh, decal on it myself, cut it out. It's supposed to be Punisher themed. Uh, as you can see, there are a few mess ups where it's starting to um, stretch out in the wrong way. Uh, so I'm probably I might come through and uh, redo it uh, before tomorrow. We'll have to see. Worst case scenario, I might just uh, get some spray adhesive and make it super tight. But I'm actually pretty darn happy with it because from a distance you can't see the blemishes at all. Looks pretty legit. Uh, on my helmet, I have a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Uh, just bought that as well yesterday. Because um, I had my old Hero 3, and I actually did also have a session, but you never know. I have backups. So, of course, you have your standard gloves, keys, glasses, wallet, a lighter because uh, you never know. This is an extra visor right here um, that I'm going to probably be using in the evening because I really don't like having both of these at night. Uh, I can. It's not too bad, but it's really just a preference thing. Um, standard black hat. There's a nice little knife that I always keep on me um, just because... Usually I have it for work, but I'll be bringing it because I just always have it on me. Here's a uh, extended telescopic lens for my Nikon D5300, which is what we are looking through right now. Uh, three cliff bars um, because it is a long ride. So probably going to need something at some point. I'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, of course. But if I get a snack, I'll leave these in my tank bag, and as I'm riding, I could literally just snack on them. Here is some generic wet riding gear. So this is literally not meant for motorcycles, but it works quite fine. I think I picked it up at a Walmart in the camping area for like 20 to 30 bucks, and it's awesome. It worked perfectly. Uh, here's my tripod I will be bringing because I want to get some cool shots. Um, my backpack, Punisherized, you can see Punisher themed. Um, normally I wouldn't be bringing 
a backpack on a tour, especially when I'm going to have saddlebags, which I'm going to have saddlebags on my bike, uh, which I'll be showing you in just a few minutes. Um, but the reason is because I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to use this hoodie that I made right here. So this is a custom hoodie with uh, the Punisher logo on it. And it looks a little a little wonky right now. But I really, really like it. And I think it's pretty darn awesome. And I wear it with an, uh, an Under Armour long sleeve. And I wore the, the whole outfit just the other day. And it, it was pretty cool. It was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> um, but here is going to be my shirt, which I'll be wearing underneath, regardless of whatever I'm going to be wearing. But the reason why I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this is because I actually bought a leather jacket. And I really think I'm going to be wearing this, depending on weather. So, because I am going to Miami and it's going to be ridiculously hot, but come on, it's so fucking cool. This and that is terrifying. Uh, literally, literally the other day I had a, uh, I pulled up to work and I had a lady look at me and she said, oh my God. And it was so freaking funny. Just absolutely loved it. <laughs> so I, I really like that reaction. Um, I'm hoping I can incite it again. I don't think I'll be getting it with this as much, but we'll see. We'll see, hopefully. Um, now what we got here are gonna be the jeans I'm gonna be wearing. These are not protective jeans at all. These are little flex denim, and they are basically like wearing sweatpants while still looking nice. They are the best jeans ever. I love them so, so much. Um, but one of the drawbacks of them, if I ever am in a wreck, hopefully not, these will melt away in like less than a second. So these are zero, zero protection, which is, you know, kind of sucks. Now, underneath here are my swim trunks because we are going to Miami. Probably going to go to a beach. So that'll be fun. All right. So we went over most of all of this, that let's talk about uh, okay, so we got money for our tolls. Lanacane, it's a rash guard. It's awesome for long rides, anything. You're going to be in a position for a super long time. Like, I'll be in a position upwards of three to four hours just not moving, and it can get bad at times. <laughs> so, that really helps putting it on in the morning and throughout the day. Just put it in a pocket, you know and you're good. Always have a flashlight on you. Um, doesn't ever hurt to have a flashlight. Deodorant, again, because you never know. Uh, spare glasses, because I wear contacts, especially if I'm gonna be going into the ocean. I need those glasses just in case. Uh, we got some slime, tire sealant, just in case something goes bad some spare chain saver um i have a bigger thing in the um uh in the garage but this is just in case i need it um a gopro mount with a selfie stick this is my spare gopro section so all of this goes into that which will probably either go into a backpack right here or one of these two so this is my tail bag that's my tank bag so this area is going to be basically all spare spare gopros um we have the gopro hero 3 silver edition um full mount ready to go right on my helmet if need be um decent camera just it lacks the quality that people expect today so it's it's just in case of emergency. Um, got two extra batteries for it. Here is the Cam Park 4K. 
which is a backups backup camera. Uh, I have a video on this if you care to watch. Uh, it's a pretty decent little camera, uh, just in case uh, GoPro fails, uh, which does happen. <laughs> uh, now here are all of my micro SD cards. Uh, just a few of them. All my cameras already have SD cards in them, so these are just spares in case they fill up, which is a distinct possibility. You never know. Um, got a nice little tripod here uh, with a GoPro mount on it, ready to go. Batteries, batteries, uh, Hero 4 batteries, Nikon 5300 batteries, Silver 3 batteries, Cam Park battery. Uh, all my cameras have a single battery in them with two spares. Uh, I usually try to keep a rule of three, so one in the camera, two extra just in case. Uh, of course, I mean, that gives me generally about six hours of recording time with any GoPro. Uh, I do actually have more ordered for the 4K or the um, GoPro Hero 4 Black just because I actually want the, uh, the charging thing that has uh, three <laughs> and it just comes with extra battery. So that's nice. All right, okay, um, I do have a little composition notebook over here, which is kind of like a, where I put a physical copy of all my video ideas and just things that happen. And if something comes up, I write in it. I always have this on me. It's easy to fit in a backpack and it's, it's just good practice to have something on you uh, where you can just write pens. I have I have pens in all my bags, just everywhere. And uh, it's just nice to have. It's just uh, pretty cool. Here is my uh, Bluetooth speaker. I hope it's cheap, generic, and sounds okay. <laughs> but the best part is it is waterproof. So this guy is great to have at the beaches. Um, I mean, don't chuck it into the water, but it'll it'll pretty much do what you expect, and don't get too much sand on it either. Uh, here are two of the most important things I'm going to be bringing: my power bricks. So these are going to charge my phone or some other device when it dies, and they will die. <laughs> so I actually have three or four of these, um, and they're just they are invaluable just it's a portable charger that's just uh it's so good i didn't even realize they're the same brand <laughs> i have like three or four of them and they're they're different but they work great apparently when this one first came out when i first bought it it's able to charge your phone twice and same with this one this one can still charge a phone when i say phone we're talking a I know, that's horrible. A uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5. It can fully charge that up perfectly. Uh, at least twice when it first came out. This one still can. But now after a few months of use, this one can only charge it up once. And then, even then it has some issues. But it keeps it from dying, which is very, very handy. Uh, but I think, guys, that is all I have on my bed. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. It's definitely a lot of stuff, but that is just how I do. Um, oh, here's a very important thing. This is my to-do list. This is what I bring. So I always write out a list and it has every single one of these items. Might be kind of crazy, but it works and it makes me not forget things so often. Um, oh, okay, also I'm gonna be bringing two pairs of shoes, flip flops for the ocean, beach, and tennis shoes because I don't really have any good pairs of boots for riding. Um, I have a couple, I might try it on one, but it's probably gonna be down to the tennis shoes, sadly. But, oh uh, man, I really want to wear this. I hope it's not too hot. I'll throw up right now um, what it's supposed to be, the heat temperature in Miami tomorrow. 
and uh, hopefully that's too not that's that's not too hot. <laughs> it's probably gonna be pretty pretty brutal. But all right, guys, I'm going to uh, swing to the bike. All right, hey there, guys. Now this is going to be a review of the uh, Gixxer 1000 for touring. So this is actually going to be my very first long distance ride on this particular bike. Uh, so far, I bought her at 14,000 and she's, I don't have my keys with me, okay. And she's at about 17,880. So I put on over 2,000 miles since I've owned her within uh, about a month and a half, give or take. Uh, so yes, she gets used a lot. And this is by far the best motorcycle I have ever ridden. So quick little mods, it's pretty much completely stuck. Everything's how it was when I got it, except we have a ram mount here, which I do have a video on if you wanna see. Uh, it's not exactly the installation because I am terrible at that and it's not exactly right, but perfect. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, this little guy right here is charging from there up over there. And uh, it's charging my battery because if I run, I just like it to be right on. Like as soon as I hit the uh, power, Ignition it turns right on without any hesitation Here is My saddlebags. Uh, they're already open. So this is actually going to be classic moto gear So if you are familiar with my previous videos of me going to st. Augustine These are the same saddlebags. I had on my CBR F4i uh, and I absolutely love these bags. These saddlebags are one of my best investments ever because first off, they look pretty sweet. Like they're, they're open right now, so that's why they're kind of sagging. Uh, but it looks, the whole profile looks awesome. And uh, so I'm actually gonna have a tail bag right here and that's actually gonna bring it up a little bit more so they'd be a little more raised. All right, there's a back profile of the, uh, the bike, which I'm loving this tire right here. Um, it's a uh, Bridgestone Battle Axe, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Completely stock exhaust, um, the titanium ones. The, uh, I will note, uh, the previous owner who owned this bike actually bore out the inside of this exhaust. I don't know if you'll be able to see some of those. So what it does is some of the heat actually, oh my God, you're so dirty, I'm so sorry, uh, comes out and is warping the external. Which isn't really that bad, but I'm going to be getting a new exhaust shortly, so don't worry. It's going to be much better exhaust soon. Let's look in the saddlebags first. I know I have a few items. So first off there, dual zipped. You just bring this up and down. Velcro here. Pop them open. I have a first aid kit and also waterproof matches just in case, you know, you never know. Full kit, never been opened. Um, pretty awesome, it's nice to have. Uh, this one I think is empty, let's find out. Yes, yes it is, okay. So here she is guys, the good old Jixer 1000, which I think pretty freaking awesome please don't mind all the bugs I still have to wipe her down before I'm going <laughs> but there she is all right guys so that is gonna be the summation of this video 
Uh, hopefully that was clear enough. That is everything I bring, uh, generally on longer trips. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a lot, but I'm prepared. I'm prepared. And this is just what I do. I, I sometimes overanalyze and do too much. Uh, but I'll live with having a little bit extra stuff. Um, so you're going to see this, uh, whenever you see this, the next video will probably be the actual trip. So hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow goes well. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, definitely a little nervous. Um, I've never ridden with these guys before and we're going on a almost 500 mile trip and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to assume that most of them have far more experience than me, at least in group writing. Uh, that's without a doubt, <laughs> but, uh, I'm excited. So stick along and, uh, stick along, stick around <laughs> and, uh, uh, let's see what happens next. So peace guys and have a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully this gave you some ideas to what you need on a long tour. Uh, probably not, probably not all of that, but you know, it doesn't hurt.